These are my tools for making great PS2 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Proud of Phoenix. I mean, I want to do a really quick refresher kind of video that shows you how to use ModBow 5.0 USB method to install Framework Boot. So this is a good alternative solution. If you have a bad laser, you can install Framework Boot from the USB method for your um, 7X series and lower for your fatter slim PS2. Um, if your laser is working, then you can also use a U-Launch Alpha disc or maybe a free McBoot disc to get by. But in my particular situation, I have a bad laser at the moment, so this method is a good alternative. In order to do the USB method like this screen here for the ModBow 5.0, I will have a link to my other PS2 tutorial. But the bottom line is you download a system folder, extract that to your USB thumb drive. I also have a copy of Freemi Boot 1.95, so go ahead, download that, extract it to your USB thumb drive, which is also formatted as FAT32 uh, or 16. So let's do this. So what I'm going to do first is let's go ahead and launch the ULaunch ELF, and we're going to navigate my mass drive here, USB thumb drive. So let's go ahead and do that, press circle, go to mass, go to FMCB, and go to my installer. Once you are at this, it's just like any other Freemake Boot installation video I've done in the past, but I'm going to go ahead and press R1 two times and just format my memory card so we're from a, a clean state. So we're formatting the memory card. Great. And then let's do install, and I'm going to say yes, and I'm going to say a normal install. So it's copying all the files. Due to the way the 1.95 and the person who set up the zip file originally, um... All the necessary ELF files are in the wrong location, so it won't copy everything to the boot folder. So like there's an OPL, there's an SMS. We're going to have to copy these manually, and I'll show you how that works in a second here. Okay, so that is done. Go to Exit and press OK. And now Freemic Boot is officially installed on the memory card. But it might be a good idea later on to disable uh, booting from the mass drive for your mod chip so you don't have any conflicts that you forget to have your thumb drive plugged in. But we'll get to that, you know, you can do that on your own time, but basically triangle circle, turn on your PS2 and disable that mass drive. So what we're going to do right now is here we have the Freemic Boot. We got to go into the Freemic Boot configurator, but before we do that, let's go into ULaunch ELF and get the files that we need here. So the easiest way to do this is press circle, go to mass, go to the Freemic Boot folder, go to install, Go to boot. So here's all the files I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the parent folder. I'm going to say R1 on boot and say copy. Now we're going to copy that whole folder into MC0 and just say R1 and paste. And just overwrite. It's going to paste everything. The boot file, OPL, SMS, all that kind of stuff. So once all the files are copied over, then we're going to restart the PS2. And then we'll look at the main menu again and see if anything changes. If it doesn't, then we'll have to do a little bit of remapping here, which is not that big of a deal. Okay, so let's go ahead and restart the PS2. And while I'm restarting the PS2, I might as well just disable the mass drive. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. So in the future, if I don't have a USB thumb drive plugged in, I won't get into an error code. Auto, great, boot mode, start to save it, reset. And now we are at the Freemic Boot screen, great. Now we scroll down and we see that all the shortcuts are working. Um, if for whatever reason the shortcuts are not working for you, let me show you real quick how you can do a remapping if you want to do a remapping real quick here. So Freemic Boot Configurator, right? And then what you want to do is when the next screen loads, go scroll down. I'm going to press circle here. And go to OS, D, Sys Options, configure this, press circle, and scroll to the right. And this is where you can have all your different text here. So let's say, for example, open PS2 loader, go ahead and press circle. And here, this is the default mapping, right? So if your OPL was in a different section, you can say, like, um, like the memory card, I could say square, and I can go to MC0, go to boot, select my OPL, and then go to return, oops, go to um, return, and then go to return down here, and then you can save it, right? But we see that we have ULaunch ELF, ESR, OpenPS2 Loader, 
a lot of all the default programs, right? So we're good to go pretty much. Now we go to return and then save it to MC0 and you're good to go. So now when you restart your PS2, you know, you're know you going to be back to free make boot. You have all the programs that you added um, pre-mapped already and you're good to go. So now you can launch you know, OPL, which is what most gamers do anyways. Um, or maybe you have some ELF files that run Pop Starter or whatever. So that's today's PS2 modding FMCB install tutorial. You guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.